Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutze, and welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you my recipe for pastry cream. So join me now and I'll show you the methods in which I use. Well, the first thing we want to do is get one quart of milk and four ounces of white sugar on the stove top. Place it on medium heat to dissolve the sugar. While that's going, we will take a stainless bowl and have six egg yolks and four whole eggs. We will then add four ounces of sugar and two and a half ounces of cornstarch. And we'll begin to whisk this together until it's smooth. Now we have it incorporated. We're now going to focus our attention to the milk. Well, our milk is now boiling and we are now going to temper the egg mixture by adding two ounces of hot milk at a time until the temperature of the egg comes up to a level it's safe to add to the hot milk. We have reached that. We are now going to add our milk and egg mixture together. Back to the heat, stirring frequently. Reduce the heat to medium and slowly bring it to a boil. It is now thickened up on us. What we're gonna do is add about one tablespoon of vanilla bean paste and half a stick of butter, two ounces of butter. Remove from the heat and then whisk this in until the butter is completely melted. Well, the butter is completely incorporated, no loose oils laying around. We are now ready to transfer this to a hotel pan. Now we are ready to chill this and the key to it is we want to chill it as fast as possible. So anything shallow and wide will help it cool the quickest. This we're going to put into a hotel pan, sprinkle with a little bit of sugar, and then pour the pastry cream in. Now we want to spread it around evenly so it cools uniformly. Then we want to take plastic wrap, lay it across, and press it down to make direct contact with the pastry cream. This will help prevent the skin from forming on the exterior and allow it to chill in the ice bath for at least an hour or two and then you can remove it to a cooler or refrigerator. Well here we have our creme patisserie or pastry cream chilled and ready to go. I've been asked several times what's the difference chef between custard and pastry cream. And I simply say, it's application. So right now, the texture that it is, I really like to fill a tart or tartlet, uh, maybe even an eclair in this way. But when it comes to something like a profiterole, I like to put a little lighter texture to it or a lighter feel. I would recommend taking the custard or the creme patisserie, put into a mixer with a wire whip, Whip it a little bit to put some air into it, makes it lighter and fluffier, and then fill your uh, profiteroles with it or your cream puffs. Um, well, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Looking forward to some comments, feedback, and questions. Uh, you it,